Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to recover a SketchUp file after crash. Let's say for example that you had a power interruption or your laptop or desktop just turned off by itself. Well, there are ways to recover it. All right. First up is just by going to the folder where your SketchUp files are saved. Now to know, just go ahead and go to Windows right here. All right. And go to properties, then head over to files. And as you can see here, you should be able to see exports right here where you have saved or exported your files. All right, just go ahead and click on this folder icon right here to open up the folder. And as you can see here, I have one SKP file right here. All right, and another option is by going to your temp folder. Just go ahead and go to your search bar and type in percent temp percent. Hit enter. And you're gonna wanna browse through these folders right here. All right, or just go ahead and use the search function right here and look for the title of your particular file and you should be able to find it all right you could also use skb right here or skp to search for items all right if you only have recovered the skb files just go ahead and open up the folder all right as you can see here i have one skb file right here and its respective skp file and as you can see they are both similar the skp file has the sketchup icon with it and the skb doesn't all right now to open up the skb file just go ahead and right click on it and hit on rename now use your keyboard to navigate through these letters right here and change b to p all right as in parrot p now once done just hit on enter there'll be a prompt just click on yes and yes all right once done you can just go ahead and double click on this file right here or the skp file and your file will be recovered hit on yes and as you can see here my scene is live. All right. Here are some settings that you need to uh, apply for you to be able to recover most of your files in the future. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, go to Windows right here. Preferences. Then go to General. And make sure that you tick on Create Backup. All right. And the Auto Save, which is every five minutes. It is pretty important to note here. You can go ahead and lower this down. You can auto save in every minute. All right. Once done, just hit on OK. So the next time you're not going to be having a hard time locating your lost or corrupted files. And that's basically it. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.